In this video, I'll break down some really cool text animation presets you can add to your videos in Final Cut Pro. Now these text animation presets are included in the Instagram starter pack, which is for sale on my website. There are also a whole bunch of other really cool presets included in this pack, but in this video I'm just going to break down how to use these really cool text animation presets. Now once you've purchased the pack, what you want to do is you want to place it in your titles folder, in your motion template folder. So if I head over here to titles and generators, and I find the category Instagram starter pack. So again you want to make sure it's in your titles folder in your motion template. As you can see it's a whole bunch of really cool presets but in this video I'm just gonna break down the really cool text effects so we have the sliding up text the text flicker the text split the text reveal we also have a pop-up text so you can see there's a whole bunch of really cool um, text so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just like, randomly select on one so we'll go to the text split and we'll go ahead all you want to do is just simply drag it onto your timeline and there you go it's just as simple as that now it already is animated it already has motion blur there's nothing you have to add to these really cool presets so I go ahead and just wait for it to completely um, render out I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to completely um, customize these really cool uh, text animations so if I go ahead and place the play it right here you can see you have this really cool text split so if I play it the text kind of just splits and then it just comes back together so you see this really cool animation now what we can do is we can select on this actual title and head over here to this icon right here now as you can see you have a whole bunch of really cool settings so let's in this case let's go ahead and uncheck build in and build out I would just go ahead and uncheck them because once they're unchecked the, the motion it's just a lot easier to actually edit them so I would encourage you to uncheck these and then edit the text and then re-enable them if you want them you know if you want them to animate in or animate out it's you know completely up to you so what I'll do is I'll take the playhead and kind of bring it into the middle of the title just so you can actually see what the title is gonna look like then we can go ahead and go over here and we can just go ahead and type in whatever we want so let's go ahead and just type up like my name so Joshua so we can go ahead and, and and then go back and then Winkins. So you can go ahead and obviously type in whatever you want. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and just type in my name. Now, as you can see, now we can adjust the size of the actual um, text. So as you see, we can kind of just adjust the size of the text. Now we can go through and adjust the font. So let's say a font that I really like is a uh, flat brush. I really like this text. So let's say we want to increase the size a little more now we can go through and adjust the color so as you see you have like you know a different color if we want kind of like a red color so something like this maybe a red now we can head over here to the drop shadow and we can go ahead and kind of just adjust the drop shadow as you see now you have this really cool shadow onto your actual text now we can go through the position now we can go ahead and just drag the position so let's say we want the text to be something like here and now you can go through and also adjust the scale too if you think it's too big so let's go ahead and just adjust the scale and I think honestly where, where it is right there I think that looks pretty good now what you can do is you can apply you, you can check back the build in and build out and there you go and now as you can see we can go ahead and just wait for final to, final cut to completely render it out now we can go through and kind of like adjust the duration if you think it's happening too long so we go ahead and place our playhead at the beginning now we can actually select on this text and either drag it out or we can make it shorter now the way I built it if you go ahead and drag it out or you know you'll know, make it faster or make it slower it's not gonna affect the animation speed so I actually select this text and let's say I don't want it to happen for this long all I can do is just hover my playhead and then just trim it so now it's happening only for like three seconds so it's just or you can, you can go the opposite way and make it happen a lot longer and don't worry it's not going to affect the animation speed if you adjust the duration of the actual title so if we place our playhead at the beginning of the clip now you have this really cool like text split so you can see it kind of just comes out and then comes back in and there you go it's just as simple as that you have this really cool animation and there you go now again you can go through into the title animation and you can uncheck build in or build out so you can see if you uncheck build in this animation this is the build in animation and this is the build out animation so let's say you don't want to have it go back like this you can just uncheck build out and now that you know the out animation is not going to happen so you can go through and really customize it but there you go there's just a, one of the really cool text animations now all those steps that I did for this one are going to apply to the other ones so if I head over here to text flicker so you can see this really cool like flicker effect you have this really cool like slide up text you see where the text kind of just slides up and now you can go through this you also this really cool like text reveal 
So this either kind of like fades onto the screen, and they have this really cool like text fade on effect, and you also have this really cool like pop up text. So you go to the beginning, there you go, you have this really cool text. So those are all some of the really cool text animations that come in the pack. And again, just follow the same the same steps for all the other ones. So let's say we want to go ahead and let's just for example let's put on the text flicker. So again, you just drag it onto the actual uh, timeline, and now you can go through select on this, and you can adjust the speed of the flicker. You know, adjust the position, the drop shadow the color of the glow, all that kind of stuff. It's just really simple. You can go ahead and just you know, really easily customize it to really get it to the look that you want. And that's how you use these really cool text animation presets that are included in the Instagram starter pack. If you want to purchase the pack, the link is down in the description below, winkinsmedia.com. I also have a whole bunch of other really cool plugins and presets for Final Cut Pro. If you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.